so she's been tucked away for the winter. Been uh, accumulating a few parts. Uh, well, these are actually Crown Vic parts from my car, but been getting a new radiator and a few other things, but she's basically been hibernating all winter, just crammed into the garage. All right, she's been sitting all winter. Let's see if, uh, see if she'll fire up. Oh, that's a good sign. There we go, fired right up. A little bit of smoke, but you know, it's normal. It's a race car. Get the timing belt replaced. So on the dual overhead cams, the timing belt seems to be the thing that is the weak spot. And if that were to break, the engine would probably go bye-bye. Um, looking at the one that was in there, it's actually not in too bad a shape, but I have no idea when it was changed last. So we're gonna change that out. Hasn't been too bad. Some of the stuff's kind of fiddly trying to get my fingers down in there, but overall not too bad. Now let's see if we can get it back together. How's it going, Dan? Fantastic. <laughs> New timing belt. Turn it the right way this time. So our work day got cut a little bit short today. Broke a piece. My bad. Shouldn't have pried on it. I was a little nervous because some of these insert parts are really hard to find. But um, while I was taking out the, the tensioner for the timing belt, I accidentally snapped off this piece right here. Luckily, I was able to find it online and um, should be here in about a week. Got the car pushed back in the garage until the parts come in. But... We did have uh, those brackets there, so it holds the camshafts in place. Got the sprockets loose, so we can put the belt on and get everything tightened up as soon as we replace that piece. Everything actually is looking really good. Cams don't really have any grooves in them. They're looking pretty solid, a little dirty, but everything seems to be looking good considering she's been through two races so far. All right, part came in finally for the the timing belt that I broke, this little guy right here. So let's hope the one I got in is the right one. All right, so that's what it should look like. Parts for this car are fairly hard to find, actually. So I was fortunate to find this one pretty quick, actually. And that looks like a winner right there. There's the piece that I broke off, off the end there. So I'll try to be a little more careful this time. Good deal. Okay, so in theory, it should start, in theory. So far, so good. All right, so timing belt is done. It's back together. 
So what was supposed to be like an afternoon project uh, turned into about three weeks. So after, after messing with that, got the belt on finally, ran. Uh, it actually cut out, but I forgot to I forgot to put the gasket back on right over there. My bad. Got an easy fix. And then the next thing that happened was the stupid power steering line partially stripped out. And that took me two or three hours to get back together. I did order another one, but it's going to be a few days till it, come, till it comes in. But I was able to get it in, so I think it's fine. And then now we need to put a new bigger radiator in it. Maybe make some exhaust changes. I gotta put a bracket over the battery, oil change, new brakes, things like that. So just a few, I mean, things that shouldn't take too long, really. So um, anyway, uh, next race is in Oklahoma, the first weekend in May, and we will be ready. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at all that buildup. I wonder if that's partially why it doesn't cool very good. I'm gonna do a couple of flushes, see if I can get some of that stuff out of there before the new radiator goes in pretty soon.